today I'm going to show how to add symbols on your Cajon setup. Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. This video is for you that want to expand your possibilities with the Cajon. As a drum kit player myself, I tend to emulate the drum kit with the Cajon most of the time. And I think cymbals are great to add different dynamics to the grooves. I will present the different types of cymbals I use here to give you an overall idea how it sounds with the Cajon. The cymbals I'm using today are from Mino, and this is a special series of cymbals, percussion cymbals, let's say, called Candela. The cymbals were designed for percussion players, and it goes well to play with timbales, congas, and of course, with the cajon. They are thinner cymbals, perfect if you want to play with brushes, rod sticks, and also with your hands. I have included the links of all the cymbals I use in this video in the description below. I'm playing the cymbals with a nylon brush, and a bamboo rod sticks. Both by mine. Now let's see the different types of symbols we have here. First one, the crash symbol. This one is 16 inches and I use it in my left side. Mino has the same also in 14 inches. Now the right symbol. Actually, this one it's a Candela Timbales Crash Ride, 18 inches. I'm using it in my right side. This is great for this set because I can use as a crash when I play louder with rod sticks, for example. And as a ride when I play softer with brushes. Hi-hat. For non-drummers, the hi-hat is a combination of two cymbals that you can open and close with a pedal. This one is the 10 inches hi-hat, with the top very thin, which is great to play either with sticks or brushes and also with your hands. And now the 10 inches splash. Very thin and fast. Great to play with your hands as well.
To finish my set, this is an effect symbol that is the Candela Jingle Bell. As the name said, it sounds like a bell with jingles. You can have different sounds from this one depending on the sticks or brushes you use. Now I will play a little bit to show you some grooves and ideas with the symbols. This was just an introduction of the cajon with symbols. I suggest you to start with one symbol to see how do you feel playing it with the cajon, to then add more to your setup. As you saw here, the possibilities are endless. I'm preparing lessons of how to play cajon and symbols, and soon it will be available here and also at cajonmaster.com. Talking about new lessons, the new intermediate courses and lessons are almost ready and if you want to know more about it, I suggest you to sign up for the new courses list to receive all the information. I'd like to thank Mino to have sent the symbols to me. If you'd like to buy one of the symbols, I have put all the links in the description below. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications. Thank you so much for watching the video, I'll see you very soon in the next one, bye! Thank you.